I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. You've seen our video about removing a disposal from under the sink. That disposal which we moved is the one that you see here on the left, marked three bolt. The one shown on the right, it has a different mounting system called an easy mount. But we are going to show you how you would install either the three bolt or the easy mount. Both of these disposals have a the larger disposal section, which is at the bottom, and each of them also has the flange assembly on the top where the disposal connects to the sink. The one on the left is a three bolt assembly. It's quite strong. However, it does take longer to install and you will need a screwdriver to install and to uninstall. The one on the right is the easy mount. You have a single ring holding the disposal on, so it's very quick to install. However, you may find uh, some years later that it has become very tightly jammed, and so when trying to uninstall, you may need some sort of tools to help you uninstall it, large wrenches of some sort. When you've purchased the disposal, the flange assembly you have received is already all assembled. However, in order to install it, you will need to first disassemble it. So we strongly suggest, because there are many different parts to it, we strongly suggest that you first take a photo of what it looks like as it is assembled before you start to disassemble it. The flange assembly on both models and on any other model you might purchase is quite similar. Now, the diagrams in the manuals may give these parts different names, but if you compare them side by side, you will see that the assembly is pretty much the same. Again, we suggest that you take a photo of what you have before you disassemble it. First, we're going to show you how to install the one that is the three bolt design. Your first step is going to be to remove the snap ring at the bottom. After that, all the other pieces will come off. Now, here we have the top to a shoe box and we've cut a hole in it. And we're gonna use this to mimic the sink and the drain hole in the sink. But it will be much easier to see and to demonstrate here than with an actual sink. You are gonna need a layer in between the top of the flange and the sink. This can be either a layer of plumber's putty, such as I'm holding in the hand right here, or if your disposal came with a rubber ring for this purpose, you can use that. So you see here the order in which the pieces will get reassembled with the gasket, the backup ring, the mounting ring, and then finally the snap ring. Once that snap ring is on, the whole assembly will hold together, will not come apart. Hopefully your photo was good enough also to help you Put these in the correct order and direction. Next you're going to tighten the three bolts that are on the flange assembly and making sure that they are correctly aligned with the backup ring. First probably you're going to tighten by hand and then later you will need to use a screwdriver to make sure that it is all completely tightened. Now, if you have a dishwasher, you will also need to knock out the dishwasher plug, which should be located above the drain. I'm showing this on our new disposal because, of course, on our older one, that plug was knocked out a very long time ago. Only the new one has one to show you. If you do not have a dishwasher that you will be attaching, of course, you don't do that. Now, all you need to do is lift the disposal up and fit the mounting assembly on the disposal to the mounting assembly that is above on the sink. After these have been fit together, then turn the lower mounting ring, 
which can move easily. Turn the lower mounting ring to the right so that the tabs all align and lock in place. Now continue to tighten the entire assembly. Using pliers is the best, but if you don't have pliers, you can try a screwdriver or wrench head. Now reconnect your dishwasher hose, tighten screws if needed, and then plug it in and give it a test run. Okay, here's the assembly for the easy mount. It still has quite a few parts. So again, make sure you take a photo or video before you start to disassemble them in preparation for the mounting. Now, if you have a dishwasher, you will also need to knock out the dishwasher plug, which should be located above the drain. If you do not have a dishwasher that you will be attaching, of course, you don't do that. So, you see all these multiple layers? They're coming apart now. In the end, the flange and rubber ring will be above the sink, and all the rest of the parts will be below the sink. We're gonna take a look at something here also that is much easier to demonstrate before you actually are holding the disposal up under the sink. When the disposal is being fit into the mounting ring, you will need to make sure that everything is properly aligned. If you look at the disposal, you will see that there is a bump there that is called a hopper that it will need to fit into this particular slot on the mounting ring. After you remove the old disposal, if you have not already done so, do clean around the drain opening, okay, the area that the uh, flange was resting on for your old disposal. And then here you see this is the flange for our new disposal. This one, uh, we won't have to use putty on because it came with a rubber ring intended to be that layer between the flange and the sink. Stainless steel has a very smooth surface and so we are able to use the rubber ring. Some other surfaces, the putty might be better. Underneath, you're next going to place the fiber gasket and the support ring. Then you'll need to tighten the support ring, just turn it by hand. At this point, it is probably a good idea to do a test for leaks around the flange ceiling. First, you'll need to find a stopper for your drain. So plug the drain and then just pour just a small amount of water into the sink so that it runs over the new flange and into the drain. And then look underneath to see if there is any leakage. Now, of course, there will be water coming down the drain, but that's not what you're concerned about. What you, you need to look up to see if there is any leakage coming from between the flange and the sink. The next two things to install will be the mount ring and the cushion mount. It might be hard to hold this mount ring up while you install the cushion mount, so that's why I've used a bit of tape to assist with this. The tape helps to hold the mount ring while I then can show you how to do the cushion mount. Before we do this for real, I'm going to just show you how this cushion mount is going to fit. Just for the moment, I'm taking off the mount ring and showing you the cushion mount. When you're installing the cushion mount, make sure that there's a tongue on the cushion mount and grooves on the flange that fit together. So put your mount ring on and then add the cushion mount and just keep pushing up on it until those tongue and groove pieces fit together. So this is what it will look like when it's completely assembled. Look what it looks like from underneath that is looking upwards towards the bottom of the sink. Okay, now it's time to reattach the drain elbow. Just make sure that you do use a new gasket. One should have come with your disposal assembly. Now you're ready to put the disposal onto the mounting ring. Again, make sure, as we mentioned earlier, that you line up the hopper, now there's that, that bump on the top of the disposal, with the slot that is on the mounting ring. Please see the, the arrows. Um, and that is what will help guide the disposal into the proper place. Once you've lined up the hopper and the slot, connected those two, then turn the mount ring 
one quarter inch counterclockwise. This will give you a temporary support for the disposal while you make other connections. Now continue to turn the mount ring and dispose all until you have lined up the dispose all and the dispose all elbow if you are using the one that came with the dispose all with the drain trap. We are using our old elbow rather than the one that was supplied with the dispose all. So our elbow is already connected to the drain trap and now we will simply need to connect the elbow to the dispose all. Continue to tighten the mount ring until it locks firmly into position. You may need to use a hammer tapping on the ears on the mount ring in order to achieve a good tightness. Okay, fasten the elbow to the disposal and make sure you screw that on tight so that the gasket is being pressed tightly against the disposal. Now reconnect your dishwasher hose, tighten screws if needed, and then plug it in and give it a test run. To make sure that you have access to the product number and the warranty information later when you need it, and so you don't have to try to stick your head under the sink and, and see in the small space, we suggest cutting off the part of the box that gives you the product number, any information you need, and then taping or stapling it together with the receipt from when you bought it, and then placing this somewhere near the product itself, near the disposal, whether that might be taped onto the wall or tucked into a corner like this. When you're trying to choose a new disposal, you'll see that there is quite a price range. Two things in particular to look at are the horsepower, in other words, how strong a disposal do you want? You can see here from our slide that, that there is a range from one half up to one horsepower with the same manufacturer. But the other thing to look at is the warranty. How long a warranty do you think you need? Because that is another point of variation. Of course, you might think that the longer warranty is better. After all, it's not that much more money than the shorter one. However, if there is a time within 20 years that your disposal seems to be leaking or not working and you want to use that warranty, consider that it will take time for you to contact the company and for them to ship you a new one, your sink and disposal, will still be out of commission for a while. Whereas the two-year warranty, you'll probably just end up going to the store and purchasing a new one and have it within a couple of days. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.